So I, I guess I, what I would say is we have been focused on creating value. And uh, that is true for creating value for our colleagues, for our guests, for our hotel owners, and for our shareholders. And so as we think about what we're doing and how we're doing what we're doing, we take that into consideration. That is our guiding light. Um, our utilization of our balance sheet has been tremendously value accretive. We've gotten into some key markets where we didn't have representation, where we had weaker representation. Um, it's allowed us to be a first mover in certain areas. So we are the first multi-brand, multinational hotel business that's in the all-inclusive um, segment with Hyde Ziva and Hyde Zalara. So we've taken some bold steps and I think into segments that are important to us and for us and for our guests and we've utilized our capital base to do that and so therefore I look at it as a vehicle for being able to do to grow in the right way to expand our presence where we need to and to really make it a more valuable proposition for guests to come and stay at a Hyatt hotel, a Hyatt affiliated hotel, even if it's not a branded Hyatt hotel. Um, and so to me, I look at it and I think um, that it's really been a, a tremendously great tool for us. At the same time, it is um, it really important for us to stay focused on growing our platform. And the vast majority of our very large pipeline is third party owned and developed hotels, the vast majority. So most of our growth will be in partnership with third party developers and owners of hotels that we will either manage or franchise. And that has been the case and will remain the case uh, going forward, probably even more so going forward. I think you'll see an even bigger proportion. I guess we're over 95% of our pipeline has no high capital in, embedded in it whatsoever. And my guess is that, that that percentage will just continue to grow from there.